Stamper yet from Celebration. Today I wanted to show you how to make this cute card. This tree lot die stamp set is one of the ones you can choose free during Celebration with a $100 order. It coordinates with, let's see if I can find it, this one right here, the Trees for Sale stamp set. So it cuts out the trees and the dog and the little string of lights. But with the dies, you also get this adorable camper. So we're going to be using that. And I wanted to teach you how to use the masking paper. If you have seen that in the catalog, it comes about four by six. And there's 12 pieces of this masking paper in the, in the set. So we're going to be using that today to show you how to do the reverse, a reverse mask and create this cute um, Polaroid picture effect. So what I have here is a three and a quarter by four inch piece of white cardstock. You can use the shimmery white or the regular white, doesn't matter, the, even the thick white. And then what I've done is taken the stylish shapes dies and I've used the largest square and I cut out a little piece and I think this piece I made, I made it a little bit larger. So it was like three and a half by four and a quarter piece of masking paper. Cut that out. Keep this, you're going to need this here in a minute, the center section, because we're going to be doing another piece too. We want to cover this up and kind of get it centered in the toward the top middle. I don't want to have any of my sponging um, affect the rest of my paper. So we are going to cover the whole piece. Oh, darn it, darn it, darn it, darn it. You gotta be careful because it's very, very um, thin. Okay, so we're gonna cover up our paper. Let's do this. I'm gonna turn it over actually. This might make it easier to get on to the right spot. That looks about right. Right to the top. And then hopefully this won't affect it much right here. Just trying to get that flat. You wanna make sure that all the edges are pressed down flat. And I've done it here on top of a scrap piece of paper. Let me pull that off. I think that's actually a little bit longer than I needed it to be. But if you have a little piece like right here, I can see that I have a little piece that may be affected. So I'm just going to put this here. This was my size of my white piece of paper. So we've got that all covered, protected, ready to go. Let's start doing a little blending. First of all, with Mango Melody. So I'm using my blending brushes. And this is kind of nice because you have this piece of paper that you can kind of start off the edge. And since the, the we're making a, what is it called? Sunset. And the sun sets towards, as the sun sets towards the bottom of the horizon, it's yellow at the bottom. Then we've got Calypso Coral. Again, starting off the edge, and I'm just going to come in and blend those two colors together. We can even do a little bit more later. And the next part is going to be gorgeous grape. I love a good purple sunset. I've been seeing so many people, so many friends posting beautiful summer sunset photos that this came into my mind last night. That I'm like, we need to do this with this masking paper. So just kind of blending that in together. And finally, I'm gonna use Starry Sky at the top. masking paper is created kind of like a full sheet of a post-it note and when you're taking it off just be careful slowly to reveal our our sunset for our Polaroid picture right there okay 
So there's our background really quick. The next thing we're going to do is take the center piece of our masking paper. I'm going to cut out one of the dies from this, the set of dies. This is our large tree. This um, set of dies doesn't even really need to have the coordinating stamps, although then if you do have the coordinating stamps, you can use it for Christmas. This one's kind of a uh, summertime card. And my memento black ink pad and a sponge dauber just on my fingertip. Usually, when you have a when you have a um, Polaroid picture, you somebody writes on it. So I looked for I had a couple of stamp sets that had a handwriting, but the one that I really like the most is back to this amazing phrasing, which is another celebration stamp set or product that you can get with a free with a hundred dollar order. So both of these are free with a hundred dollar order. And let me remind you that when you order $150 or more, you do not need to use my um, host code. Go ahead and order. You become your own hostess. You have your own party and you earn host rewards free. So if you have over $150, go ahead and do that because you might as well get your freebies, right? So I just wrote, you've got this <laughs> on this one. My other card said, I miss you. But this one says, you've got this. It almost looks like I just wrote on there. Okay, we're going to cut out the camper from our silver. You could do white, you could do silver, you could do any color you want. I'm doing it with silver foil paper. There are, are some silver foil papers available right now. And then there's another piece that cuts out both the top and the skirt for the, for the camper in one. So we'll cut that one out as well. assemble this. I did also have a, there's another little teeny tiny piece that looks like this. Another die that looks like this that we're going to use as inside the camper. And then I have a piece of vellum that's three quarters of an inch by two inches. This one you want to put on the back. So in fact, both of these we're going to put on the back. We're going to do a little bit of this becomes your window. Has like the little um, curtain for the inside of the camper. I chose to use early espresso for this because it will match my background paper in just a moment. Wow, but it blends right into my table. <laughs> There we go, the top and the bottom is all prepared and all ready. Now the last thing I want to do here is just color the I'm gonna color this wheel black with a Sharpie or a permanent marker. New this is my background. I used the designer series paper from the He's the Man. Um, designer series paper. Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> because it had the camper and the trees on it, so that was just perfect. One 
one other little detail that you could add if you would like. If you have a chalk marker or a silver Sharpie, works great. You can add some stars. The one that we made today, I also used another celebration product um, for this one. This one had, I used the Rings of Love Designer Series paper. That's another free product if you'd like to have the, the, the woodland on the back.